Hello, everyone. Welcome to my Sister Wives official channel. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Sister Wives actress Michael T. Brown and her husband, Antonio Tony Padron, are approaching their 10th wedding anniversary. The pair married in December 2016 and are parents to three children, daughter Avalyn and twins Archer and Ace. Michael T. routinely flaunts Tony on her social media as the couple supposedly leads a blissful marriage. Recently, the couple has come under the limelight again. Their announcement of a transfer to North Carolina heated the pot, provoking many assumptions. Moreover, eagle-eyed followers observed an ominous detail that prompted suspicions about their marriage, hinting there might be problems in paradise. So are Michael T. and Tony facing marital issues? Learn all about it here. Sister Wives Tony forgot to wish Michael T. on her birthday. Michael T. and Tony routinely boost each other on their Instagram. However, Michael T.'s Valentine's Day message dedicated to her hubby, Tony hasn't appeared on her profile. This prompted a speculation that the pair might be suffering marriage issues. However, Michael T. soon countered the accusations by releasing a message on her Instagram stories. My marriage is still going strong. She wrote, accompanying a picture of her and Tony having lunch. Don't assume anything just because he's not in every movie. Stop presuming just because he's not in E D E R I S I N G L E P D O S T that he's not mine. But the rumors did not end there. In late June, devoted Sister Wives viewers found a worrisome element while rewatching an episode. A user rushed to Reddit to point out that Tony did not call Michael T on her birthday, June 9. Tony explained his action, stating that he was occupied playing chess for nine hours that day. Hence, he did not get a chance to wish Michael T. He claimed he had wished his wife a day before her birthday instead. While this news enraged the supporters, Michael T seemed unconcerned. She brushed off the problem like it was no big deal. She added that even her father, Cody, did not wish her, and that wasn't an issue either. Michael T's reply suggested she might have expected this from Tony, prompting followers to wonder how often such instances occur. Many Sister Wives fans also pointed out that Michael T could not be a priority in Tony's life. Viewers shouted out Tony for his disrespectful actions. One fan said, Michael T is not a priority in Tony's life. He couldn't be bothered to take three minutes out of his day to just wish his wife and mother of his children a happy birthday. He wasn't any place like a battlefield or a space station, which might have made communication a bit tough. This tells me all I need to know about him and their marriage, sadly. Another fan added, you're telling me he didn't have a bathroom break in nine hours. And lunch break. That's bullsh asterisk T. Sister wives, Michael T and Tony are moving to North Carolina. On June 14, Michael T announced that she was going to North Carolina with her husband and their three children during a live session on YouTube. The Sister Wives actress did not share the specific reason behind their move. However, by the looks of it, it seemed like she was ready for a change. The couple has opted to sell their property in Utah because the move is very expensive. Tony indicated that packing had already begun. When asked about her sister Maddie, who also resides in North Carolina with her family, Michael T. stated that it did not affect their decision, although she does see it as a benefit. Michael T. is likely heading to North Carolina for a change of lifestyle. When Cinderella wanted to go to the ball, her wicked stepmother Lady Tremaine stood in her way, and it's time to talk about what sister wives Robin Brown did to the kids that Cody Brown shares with Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. While Robin's not outwardly malicious like the classic Lady Tremaine, who persuaded Cinderella she could attend the ball provided she got all her job done, she's a troublemaker. Rather than yelling and raising a scene, Robin mumbled seemingly gentle things that persuaded Cody to make wrong judgments. She also supplied advice, 
that no one asked for or desired. Now, let me look. There's the enormous carpet in the main hall. Clean it. And the windows, upstairs and down. Wash them. Oh, yes. And the tapestries and the drapery. Do them again. And don't forget the garden. And scrub the terrace. Sweep the halls and the stairs. Clean the chimneys. And of course, there's the mending and the sewing and the laundry. Oh, yes. And one more thing. See that Lucifer gets his bath. Lady Tremaine, Cinderella. Clearly, as the statement above demonstrates, Cinderella had a lot to do before she could go and meet Prince Charming on what was fated to be a magnificent night. While Robin lacked Lady Tremaine's blight and sadism, she played a role in many of Cody's feuds with his kids. While emulating a beautiful and simpering Disney princess, Robin sheathed her claws, but they were still there. For example, when she warned Cody not to spend time with his older sons at Christmas because arguments would ensue, she obviously fell into wicked stepmother territory. Why did Robin keep Cody away from his sons? She made a mistake. Garrison Brown passed away on March 5, 2024, and nothing can bring him back. He is missed, and his death isn't Robin's fault. However, the conflicts in the Brown family did harm him, and occasionally, Robin made things worse. Instead of standing back and allowing Cody to manage his connections with his children, she would serve as the power behind the throne. However, she wasn't the mother of those children. Step parenting is hard at the worst of times. However, the classiest option is to just stay out of things, rather than stirring the boil. Robin just couldn't help herself from intervening. Robin didn't want the older sons to come over to the luxurious house she lives with Cody since she knew there was tension between those kids and Cody. She felt that they'd all ruin the holiday by fighting. This is terribly incorrect because what actually damages relationships is emotional distance. When Cody couldn't have it out with the late garrison, his vocal son Pyden Brown, Gabriel Brown, and other Brown children, the rifts got larger. They got so hard to repair. Tragically, Cody wasn't on speaking terms with his son Garrison when he died. That is simply really sad. Robin Brown didn't lock Cody's kids in a tower, however. She gave them advice they didn't need. In the clip above, from the animated Disney classic Cinderella, 1950, Lady Tremaine does everything in her power to dissuade Cinderella from attending to the ball. She ends up confining the innocent beauty in a tower. While Robin never locked up Cody's kids and pocketed the key, she has intervened in their lives in ways that she shouldn't have. For example, on stage, Janelle and Cody's daughter, Maddie Brush, called her out for criticizing the church she picked. Was that Robin's place? Absolutely not. Maddie said that she'd been informed she could choose whatever church she liked. When she did, Robin began sharing opinions. Things got so Cinderella's she let Maddie know that her option simply wasn't good enough. In a moment of surprising meanness, which actually tells a tale about what's going inside of Robin, she blamed the kids' poor choices on the fact that their frontal lobes hadn't fully developed yet. This was outrageous. So, Cody and Robin informed the kids they could choose their own church and then placed Maddie down when she discovered one that she loved. This kind of push-me-pull-me -me activity has led to Robin's puppet master reputation. Was Maddie's church not devout enough to please Robin, who spent years appearing to be a devoted sister wife while secretly dreaming of monogamy with Cody? Maybe so. Robin often says one thing and does another. While she wasn't a terrible person, the passive-aggressive tactics and interfering were all too genuine. She's not the devil, but Robin is no angel. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.